From the skies to space and a story that is literally out of this world. The Asteroid Mining Corporation is spearheading one of the boldest new business plans around at the moment, a venture which aims to extract valuable resources like platinum from the surface of asteroids. But they are not happy with the government and despite being a British company, may well be doing that from Atlanta in the United States because of what they say is far too much red tape here, red tape that is potentially holding back a multi-trillion pound industry. Well, if that sounds familiar, it's because quite a few other companies have made precisely that criticism of late too, Microsoft being one of them. Now, Mitch hunter Scullion founded the Asteroid Mining Company and Mitch joins me in the studio now. Mitch, very good to see you. Thank you for coming in. My pleasure. We'll get to the politics in a second, but first, perhaps you could just explain to us simpletons here just how your quite extraordinary plan works. How are you going to mine asteroids? Well, essentially, we borrow a rocket. Um, so we borrow a rocket and we go from Earth, we go into, you know, low Earth orbit and then we accelerate quite quickly and then we get out of the Earth's sphere of influence and then beyond the Earth's sphere of influence, we go into a solar orbit. We should just point out, these are your pictures from your video yes, uh, on the screen now. And once we're in the solar orbits and we start to hone down on those asteroids in the near Earth asteroid belt that we're particularly interested in. So these are asteroids which are between um, Venus and Mars, basically followed the Earth around the solar system. So we go to that asteroid, we land on it, and then we essentially send out um, space-capable asteroid robotic explorers, or SCARES, um, six-legged spider robots which walk over the surface of the asteroid, prove the resources, and then start to do some digging for us, much deeper than an astronaut. <laughs> you make it all sound so simple. When is this all doable by? Um, so we are currently in negotiations for a contact to be going to the moon in probably 2027. Right. Um, so we'll wait to see what happens with that. Um, but for an asteroid, we'd be looking at going about 2030 or 2031. OK. Now, why are you not happy with the government? Well, the problem is that actually, short of the, quite the opposite of what you say, it's not that we suffer from an overburdening of regulation. Currently, the UK does not have a UK Space Resources Activities Act to regulate the space mining industry. And essentially, we are a multinational corporation, so we're headquartered in Canary Wharf, mm. but we have a subsidiary in Atlanta and we have a research lab in Japan. And both of those countries have space resources legislation, but the United Kingdom does not. So if we potentially are going to be the first British lunar landing in 2027, we might have to fly an American flag in order to make that mission happen. Just make that clear why, because effectively the government wouldn't let you take off? Um, so the current state of the regulation just doesn't allow commercial space mining, and we think that's incredibly short-sighted when asteroid mining could be worth. And why not, though? Um, essentially, it just comes down to UN regulations, but the, the US, Japan and many other nations, and particularly the Western alliances, right. um, have essentially regulated for space mining. The UK is one of the last countries to do this within the Artemis Accords, which yeah. is um, a US-led initiative in order to support commercial space mining. OK, I mean, it sounds a pretty straightforward thing to put right. Have, have you made your issues clear to the man in charge, who's currently the Space Minister, George Freeman? So I did have a conversation in Tokyo, and I was told that the UK with, cannot... With the Minister, with, with, George with George Freeman. in Tokyo, but I was told that the UK cannot do everything, and I think that's incredibly short-sighted, so I would call upon the UK government to regulate space mining so that we can start working towards the potential trillion-dollar industry that is essentially dominated by the UK, and we're in a position where we are one of the front runners in this global industry, yeah. and I just do not want to see the jobs in the avenue, and particularly tax revenue, from multi-billion pound space mines go to foreign nations. Mitch, I mean, who knows whether this could work? It seems incredibly ambitious or not. But if it does, you could be Britain's Elon Musk. Did you tell the minister that? <laughs> no, I don't think it was worthwhile. <laughs> we'll wait until we do it first. OK, Mitch Hunter-Scullion, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for talking us through that. Thank you very much.